In this episode, Special Holiday, Crane Teamwork, Power Tower, Raider Jutsu. We witness more and more odd rides in the wastes, rides that can only be described as grim. Concerned for the well-being of our players, we have conducted an investigation. We discovered that there's a group of players inspired by a Mexican holiday, Dia de Muertos, Day of the Dead, and they established some sort of a cult worshipping the falling raiders. Soon we managed to establish contact with the cult's leader, DJ Nexa, and asked him about the rides that his flock is using. Turns out they're quite impressive too. DJ Nexa also claims that his cult uses homing missiles instead of cookies. Wait, what? Psst, bud, go to the Junk Valley, Garage 6, west of the factory. You bring the missiles, I bring the gold. Fighting gang bosses is risky business. You let a couple of your mates come under fire and it's all over. How do you win? Straight Shot 1 has got an idea. Meet the gang boss Piñata. Just reel him in with a harpoon, lift him up nice and easy, and give your team an easy frag and lots of fun. This has been proven and tested. The boss Piñata is fun for the whole family. You did well, Straight Shot 1. Please enjoy your prize. The following contestant set his bar rather high to build a tough ride with powerful weaponry, but keep it all compact. Sounds unreal, right? But he did it. If you can't make the ride wide enough, then you must make it… tall. Yes, it might look like a walking wall, but it has plenty of hit points and a slim silhouette. I suggest you guys try that too if you want to experience a different approach. Thanks for the idea, Zios. Here's your gold. Subarashi, shikodo desu! Harpoons, traps, and jet engines. All these modules have been contributing towards one goal, the mastery of combat. Now it is time for the masters of explosive spears and combines to step aside from the pedestal. We now have the masters of throws and grapples. Using the enemy's speed against him, that's their way. There's already a legend of this style of combat, and he agreed to show us a few of his tricks. Meet the player called Scared Mip. Thank you for your lesson, Sensei. Please take this as a token of our gratitude. Now it's time to pick the best combat of the past week. NF89 says, I'm about to end this Mandrake's whole career. Mandrake Boy uses Step. It's super effective. Please respond to your original comment with your in-game nickname and email address so we can send you your prize. Please be advised that the prize may take up to 5 business days to be added to your in-game account. Thank you for watching this episode. Okay, let's recap the three simple steps on how to submit your video to Crossout Shell. Step 1. Record and put together a video. Attention! The submitted video must be made by you, must be published for the first time, must have public access for viewers, and must not violate any copyright laws. Step 2. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the like button below this video. Step 3. Upload your video to YouTube and send us a direct link to Crossout Show at Gaijin.ru. The covering email should contain the desired category for your video, your in-game nickname, and the email address registered with your game account, so we can send you the reward should your submission win. Every week, four submissions will win 1,000 gold. We will also be awarding the best comment of the week with 300 gold. So, get your engines revving, make some content, send it to us, or simply watch and comment. Either way, we got plenty of gold to go around. See you in the week.